Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a spreadsheet to solve a utility maximization problem. One of the things that's exciting to me about online education, I can show you something on a computer because I'm making an assumption that you're either watching this on a computer or on your phone, and then you can um, use the computer uh, to solve some of these, these problems, right? So it saves you some time and shows you a different way to, to, to use this. Um, so we've got a consumer who wants to maximize their utility. Purchasing good one and good two, they have a budget of four dollars. How many of each should they buy? So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to write some formulas. Good one's price is fifty cents. Good two's price is twenty-five cents. Okay, so if I like this dollar spent column, uh, helps me to think through what the budgetary constraint is. Um, so what I'm going to do is I get uh, the number of goods times. Uh, the price and I don't want that price column to change so I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna hit F4 on my keyboard okay I'm not using Excel but you know Excel has the same uh, functionality here and I just copied that formula down and then on this one marginal utility is the additional utility so um, it's gonna be 5 minus 0 okay that's that first one and on the second one though um, I've got and if it, if it helps you whoops if it helps you, you could actually put um, you could put a column here where you had zero, 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 and then that would help you with uh, with that. You wouldn't have any marginal utility there because you didn't buy anything, right? So if this if this helps, uh, you can do it that way too. Okay. So anyhow, um, and I can go equals this minus the previous utility and copy that down and then very quickly I take margin utility over the price so it's this divided by the price which is up here again I want to make sure I put the dollar signs in there so that it uh, doesn't change that formula and copy this bad boy all the way down and I'm good okay and over here I'm gonna do the same thing this times this we got four there. Copy this, suck it down. Over here, I've got four minus previous cell. Copy that guy down. And then this divided by this. I don't want that to change all the way down. So now I quickly uh, filled in my table. Okay. And so eyeballing it here, uh, what can I afford? I only have $4, right? So I. I really uh, probably can't get to here unless um, this equals this. Can I afford that? Yeah, actually I can. So that's the right answer there. So uh, I can spend one dollar on good uh, two, or buy four units of good two, and then I would additionally buy uh, six units of good one, and I would maximize my utility. This is as happy as I can get. Okay, can't get really get to this one, although it's you know it's not really gonna matter too much but anyway um, so what's cool about doing it with an Excel is let's say that the price changes okay? and the price changes and I get to a, a different um, spot on the demand curve right? so so I just change the price there and I get different um, outcomes here so what can I afford uh, now so this is all changed here too so now what's the best I can do let's say good two doesn't change in price I can get to can I do that one? I only have four dollars, so I can't can't really do that one. So that's not going to work. What about this level here? Three dollars, and then okay. I think I can do this. This will give me three seventy-five, and then the best I would probably do is I would buy four units of good two, and I would buy three units of good. Um, one, this is going to give me the best um, uh, spot on the indifference curve, uh, given that. Now, they don't equal, but I can't afford the, the one that equals over here. So that's as close as I can get. So that's pretty real, realistic. And you can change this to a dollar, right, see what happens. And so that's pretty cool. Let's do one more real quick with a different budget. So uh, I go with uh, this time it's $28. Good one is four dollars. Good two is two dollars. You know, if, if this is your customers, it could be lots and lots of money. So uh, we'll multiply. What did I do here? That one will stay. 
multiply by this. Let's do this guy really quick here. This, 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 this. Copy that all the way down. I wonder if I can copy what's going on from there over to here. No, that didn't work. Okay. So I'm going to go this, this, this. Just working my way through this. And so this person has a constant utility. They just uh, haven't hit diminishing marginal returns yet. Okay, so what can we afford with $28? So I could do $24 and then uh, four more dollars. Um, but the, the marginal utility doesn't equal at that level. Okay. At uh, let's see here. So at one and one. So we can afford sixteen dollars worth of this. And then what would be the uh, number of good twos I could buy? That'd be six units of good twos. So the answer in this one, you're given twenty-eight dollars, is gonna be um, gonna be four units of good one and uh, six units of good two. You could actually probably create a column that, that would tell you how much you spent on each bundle uh, and see if it works. So you, you can add a lot of things, but this is a pretty cool shortcut. Again, I like this a lot because I can change the price, right? I can knock the price down to two. This will update here. I can see what I'll afford um, and then how that affects, uh, right?